Welcome back folks. On this week's episode of Fishbowl Tales, I'm going to be giving you a progress update on the cooling system. This rather large, slightly overkill bracket is what is going to hold our fan motor in the bus. Now the reason it's so overkill is because I didn't want to mount the fan motor directly to the radiator. So I've gone all the way above and below the radiator to pick up on the mounting rails that hold the radiator in the bus. That allowed us to add a little bit of beef to this thing, a little bit of substance. The plate that we're using to mount the fan motor to is 3 eighths of an inch thick and there are actually two of them. So the first plate that you see here basically just encapsulates the fan in this little milled slot here and it picks up on both of the tubes that hold it. Now on the back side, this round piece is what the fan motor actually bolts to. Now why did I design it like that? No reason in particular. <laughs> I got sidetracked, I could have made it out of one piece, and I didn't. I had made both pieces separately, and hey, the more gusto the better, right? The components that make up this bracket are these two legs, which are made out of inch and a half DOM tubing, this center plate here that the pump mounts to, and these bushings in the end which allow us to go from inch and a half tube down to half inch in the center so we can put a bolt through it and clamp it all together in the bus. These aluminum bushings were built with one thousandths of an inch of interference fit. So they get pressed into the end of this tube and allow us to adapt an inch and a half tube down to a half inch so that we can bolt everything together. Just like that. These will hopefully also provide a little bit of vibration dampening in this bracket and if anything ever happens to them or they get damaged, they're easily replaceable. Here's a closer look at the back of our fan mounting bracket. It's made out of 3 8 plate, which has been TIG welded all the way around, and it's been drilled and tapped to 7 16 bind thread. The back side of the mounting bracket has been milled in the same profile as the fan motor, and it fits together something like this. And then, the pump can get bolted into the bracket. Now once our fan motor is properly mounted on this bracket, we can throw on our fan hub. In last week's episode, I spoke briefly about flipping this fan blade around in order to make mounting this easier. Now the reason for that is that the hub in the middle of the fan is actually offset there's a dish in one side of it. And when I set out to machine the hub that goes in the middle of it, I had started off machining it in order to fit from this direction. Now it soon became apparent that it was going to be almost impossible to mount this with the pump situated down inside of that dish because the mounting ears end up way down in here. So what we're gonna do instead is flip it the other way like this. This way we have access to the dish from the back side and the mounting hub can go on just like that. That way we've got clearance between the ears of the pump, all of our mounting bracketry, and the fan blades. Looking down underneath the fan you can see that our clearance to our mounting bracket is really really tight. It's about 50 thousandths of an inch between 
the hub of the fan, and the mounting bracket. Additionally, the clearance between the back of the fan and the mounting bracket is about three quarters of an inch. Plenty of room. So now that we've fabricated this bracket, you might be wondering, why not fabricate a really nice fan to go along with it? Well, that would be a lot of work. A lot of work that I am not interested in. So I decided to go with an OEM plastic fan blade. This blade in particular is out of a 2001 Dodge 3500 truck, which is perfect because to make parts easier to find, it's the same year that the engine in our bus is. I wanted to make sure that everything that we had in that bus that related to the engine was easy to source, easy to find, belts, hoses, fan blades. We could just go down to our local parts store and order anything we needed if we absolutely had to have it on the road. Now that we've got everything living on this bracket where we want it to, let's see how it all looks in the bus. Here's the space at the side of our engine bay where the radiator and fan shroud will get mounted. Here it is again with the radiator and fan shroud in place, and again with the fan and fan bracket installed. Now that that's all in, you might be thinking, that looks like it's just about complete. Well, unfortunately, you'd be wrong, because we still have a hydraulic fluid reservoir to complete, some hydraulic plumbing, and I want to duct the hot air that comes out of this fan here down underneath the bus. I've got some ideas on how to do that, so tune in next week to see how we make that happen. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to like and subscribe.